Hey guys! I am so happy to be back on YouTube again because if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll know that I just got married. I can't wait to share all the pictures and videos from my wedding with you guys, so please be sure to subscribe to both of my channels so you don't miss out when I upload them. In the meantime, I'll be making DIY tutorials as usual, so I hope you'll enjoy and let's get started. So this DIY is based on those viral color-changing cushions that you've definitely seen before on YouTube and Instagram. This phone case is absolutely gorgeous and so satisfying to play with. You can't actually buy phone cases that look like this anywhere in the world, so I can guarantee that you'll get a ton of compliments and attention if you make it. First, you'll need a clear case that fits your phone. Check the description box for tips on how I find the cheapest phone cases to use for crafting. Then you'll need some color changing sequin fabric and I've included links for these below as well. I got these from the Etsy shop Pretty in Pink Supplies and they have all kinds of different color combinations. This fabric is made from double sided sequins and it's ridiculously fun to play with. It's also surprisingly sturdy and the pieces don't fall off no matter how long you play with them. The first step is to trim the edge so it's completely straight. Use a sharp pair of scissors to cut through all the layers. The edges should look like this, without any sequins or fabric pieces poking out. Now place your phone case on top and trace the outline using white chalk or eyeliner. Cut it out and spend some time trimming the fabric so it looks as tidy as possible. To make the hole for the camera, start by cutting a tiny hole in the center. Then carefully enlarge it to the right size using the phone case as your guide. If you have a thin white pencil like an eyeliner, then you can also trace the shape directly onto the fabric. I only had a piece of soft pastel, so that didn't work for me, but I found it wasn't too difficult to eyeball the size. Once you're done, place it onto the case and trim away the corners. The trick to this DIY is to trim the fabric as neatly as you can before sticking anything down. Since the sequins overlap each other in so many layers, it's almost impossible to correct mistakes once the fabric has been glued into place. So make sure you double check and trim everything at this stage. When you're happy with how it looks, you can start hot gluing it to the case. It's best to work from the top and begin by gluing it around the camera opening. Work in small sections and press it down firmly each time. Apply a line of glue to the upper edge and tilt the phone case down like this so you can seal the fabric without the risk of burning your fingers. Now simply work your way down the phone case, doing small sections at a time. If you don't have any hot glue, then you can also use white PVA glue. But you have to let that dry completely before trying to flip the sequins. For the final step, check if there are any gaps around the sides and carefully fill those up with a bit of glue. And now your amazing, color-changing mermaid phone case is done. Just press your phone into place and you can start playing with it. I think this is a great thing to have if you're bored or just waiting for someone in a public place. I always end up fidgeting with my phone, so this is quite a relaxing distraction. Of course, you can make more phone cases using other color combinations. I got this beautiful pink and gold version as well as a white and silver one. There's one tiny thing to watch out for, and that's the correct direction of the sequins. You'll notice that they look like mermaid scales, so you have to make sure that the scales are always facing downwards. This is because you can only flip them in one direction, and if you're making a phone case, then you want the colors to change vertically and not horizontally. And the very last tip is that the top part of the fabric should have a tiny edge of black attached. This is just to make sure that the uppermost sequins don't fall off. Now I simply repeated all the steps to make the second rose gold phone case. I absolutely love how these turned out and I'm actually using the turquoise one on my phone right now. The best part is that you can't actually buy these in shops, so this tutorial is the only possible way to get a phone case like this. I really hope you enjoyed this DIY and please remember to follow me on Instagram under my username Macaroon. I post lots of updates in between my videos so you can see what I'm up to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!